So this is the first time we're dealing with uh, methods. Methods are very much like all the functions you've seen. They have a name. They have a name and they have parentheses inside which you can put parameters. However, unlike other functions, methods come after a dot and they also work using the thing before the dot. So you can kind of think of a function which has a special argument, which is this argument before the dot. And that's essentially what that method, that function is working on. So in the case of lists, if we had a list like list of numbers and we did dot append at the end of it, we can append a new element to the end of the list in place. So it's acting on the list before the dot. And then whatever we put inside the parentheses, inside these smooth brackets, is what it's going to add on to the end of the list. Um, in these cells, we can see examples of append and pop. So this is the original list of experiments. We're then going to append an experiment which lasted 51.6 seconds. And we now have a new list that is 51.6 seconds. We then realized that actually the zeroth experiment, this 100, was anomalous. Um, we started the stopwatch at a different time or, or whatever. And so we need to delete that. Now, there are a couple of ways you can do that, but one useful way is to use dot pop, where you tell it which element to delete, so the zeroth element, and it will return the value of that, but it will also update the list to remove it. So I'm doing one line of code here, and it's going to update the list and return that value to me. And if I run these cells, my list with the anomalous experiment removed now no longer has that 100 and everything else is the same and i can say that i removed experiment zero which i defined here and that the, the value was 100 seconds which was given to me by pop there 